Well, blessed morning, friends, folks. It is J July 11th. I almost said January. It is July 11th, 2023. And we have today's word is your mind, God's thoughts. Before I even start, God's thoughts are higher than our thoughts, and His ways are higher than our ways as heaven is higher than the earth. So, we'll see what they got on this. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. Colossians 3 and 10. Put on the new self which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of the creator in the image of its creator don't bow down before any other images that was a lesson that i did this morning a different one by sarah young think through me thoughts of god a quote from amy carmichael so here we go in word and when we are born again we are spiritually renewed the bible makes that clear we are a new we are a new creation the old has passed away and the new has come. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Makes me think of y'all, Amber 8, and I like y'all's name, New Creation. What does that mean for our bodies? Though they will die, they will be resurrected. What does that mean for our hearts? Though they were hard and resisted to God, they are now soft and inclined towards Him. What does that mean for our minds? Paul tells us here, we are given a new knowledge. That covers all of us, you know. We don't have to have a heart such as the Pharaoh all hardened. His heart was so hardened. After one plague after another, he was such a fool. He led his whole army into the Red Sea. What a big dummy. So now, this new knowledge isn't just a change of opinion. It's an evasion of truth into our once deceived souls. Now, we have a radically new perspective, a vital understanding of who God is and how his son is saved us and a new means of making decisions we also have a kindred wisdom with our creator an ability to think his thoughts and live his life we are in a holy process of becoming like him isn't that amazing while many cults and false philosophies make us gods unto ourselves jesus makes us human into god's mind humans into god's mind it's a foundational principle of being a child of God we who were fallen and dead are now inhabited by the one who is risen and alive amen to that oh one issue to duck a little question thank you Jesus does that mean does that mean that our thinking will never err that <laughs> we will never disagree that our logic will be infallible obviously not but it does mean that to the degree we submit our thinking to Christ we can have his mind we can be led and guided renewed and transformed crafted ever increasingly into the divine image indeed the conclusion are you aware of God's goal for your thought life it is perhaps the most challenging battleground for a believer we all too easily give in to depression negativity deception misconception and all sorts of false perspectives God changes that if we let him. You do not have to you do not have to convince him to do so. He loves to. He wants us to think like him. Shed the old and embrace the new. Be conformed to his image daily in your mind. And that's why I make these videos, y'all. Let me give a shout out to Robert Jones, Angie Owens, Tammy Cook, we love you, Frank. My cousin went through a major surgery. And of course my wolf tongue family. With the death of my uh, my youngest niece, it's it's hard, man. You keep that's why I want you to keep in prayer. My sister Sherry Perez, Atlanta Hart, Chelsea Wolf Tongue, Lee Wolf Tongue, and Timmy Wolf Tongue, Robert Wolf Tongue, Joy Mack Wolf Tongue, and Haley. I have three grandbabies to her: we have Coda Bear, Keech, and Nowakus. So, man, keep them in your prayer. God's thoughts higher than our thoughts. You know, you step outside of yourself, you give people strength, you give them compassion, you give them comfort and joy. Not that you do it, but the Lord does it through you. And this reminds me, thinking of this, you can't put old wine in new wine skins. You know, the Old Testament way is done away with, but the Old Testament, I mean, the, the sacrificing of the animals that's done away with, all we got to do is come into Jesus because he's the high priest and all he wants is the sacrifice of yourself unto him. That's what I did January 5th, 2008, and I have been the same since. Every day, I'm growing more and more and more. 
And do I fall short? Of course I do. But you see, if you fail under pressure, your strength is too small. You give God that pressure that's upon you, and he's going to come up with a new creation in you on a new level over the devil that you're going to be like, wow, I didn't know I could overcome that. But he's more than an overcomer and a conqueror through you and I. <laughs> How about that? Be blessed your own journey. Additional shout out. Kirk Salinas, my man, my Cherokee brother, and your woman, Chrissy Wright. Adios.